I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, King Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your agape love. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your grace. Precious Holy Spirit, we thank you for your communion. Fill my mouth with your word. Enlighten the eyes of our understanding. Save, heal, and deliver for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release your angels to minister with us and unto us. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and all the glory forever and ever. In the mighty name of King Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you. Let's turn our Bibles to Genesis chapter number 41. Verse number 29 to 33. Genesis 41, 29 to 33 from the New King James Version. Indeed, seven years of great plenty will come throughout all the land of Egypt. But after them, seven years of famine will arise and all the plenty will be forgotten in the land of Egypt. And the famine will deplete the land. So the plenty will not be known in the land because of the famine. Following it will be very severe. 32. And when the dream was interpreted, was repeated to Pharaoh twice, because the thing is established by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now therefore, let Pharaoh select a discerning and wise man, and set him over all the land of Egypt. Verse number 38 of Genesis chapter number 41 to 41. Genesis 41, verse number 38 to 41. And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom the is the Spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is no one as designing and wise as you. You shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. The last reading of the word today. Matthew chapter number 5 verse number 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trembled under foot by man. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. May God bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. The dream is interpreted. The dream is interpreted. Ladies and gentlemen, when we read in Genesis chapter number 41, we see Joseph, he is now before Pharaoh. He has come out of the dungeon, out of the pit, out of the prison. And by the grace of God, he has been summoned to come to the palace by Pharaoh so that he can interpret the dream. And we know that this is the reason, the reason why Joseph is coming to interpret the dream is because he had interpreted the dream in the prison. And now he is before Pharaoh, not as a dreamer, but as a dream interpreter. And today the Lord has sent me with a message uh, which says the dream is interpreted. And now we understand that Pharaoh dreamt about uh, seven cows and also about uh, seven um, things of wheat and now Joseph is giving interpretation 
And Joseph says, God is the one who gives the ability to interpret dreams. So number one, as a child of God, you need to understand that it is God who gives the ability to interpret dreams. The world we are living in, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is going through a rough time, is being ravaged by issues, is being ravaged by coronavirus. In Lebanon, you saw what happened. A lot of things have gone upside down during this year, 2020. And God is looking for the sons of God. The world is drowning for the manifestation of the sons of God to show up and to interpret the dreams. I am reminded about um, uh, the, the man who was traveling, uh, the eunuch, the Ethiopian eunuch, and he was on a chariot and he was reading scripture from Isaiah chapter number 53, but he could not interpret what he was reading. He could not understand what was happening. And God, by his spirit, he led Philip to catch up with the chariot and he asked him, do you understand what you're reading? Ladies and gentlemen, where we are now, there are dreams out there which are hanging and those dreams for them to come to pass and to have a meaning, they need to be interpreted. And I want to assure you that it is only God who gives the ability to interpret dreams. God is the only one who gives us answers. And Joseph, when he heard about the dreams, he interpreted and he said there are going to be seven years of plenty harvest. And also there's going to be seven years of famine. Now you need to appoint a man who is full of wisdom and understanding. A man who is full of the spirit of God who can take the bull by its horns and make sure that what God has given us is reserved for the year of famine. And Pharaoh said, there is no other man except to you because number one, you did not just interpret the dream, but you gave us a solution. May God raise someone not only to interpret the dream, but also to give a solution. I see God raising a generation in our time. During this time of 2020, there are dreams that have been dreamed. There are issues that are happening. And by the grace of God, I see God raising men and women, boys and girls, giving them the ability to interpret dreams because it is only God who gives the answer. The answers. Where we read, you need to understand that uh, Joseph is a type of Christ. He is a type of Christ just like Jesus Christ. Joseph was betrayed by his own brothers. Jesus was betrayed by his own brothers. Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver. Joseph was sold for 20 pieces of silver. Joseph was put in the pit and Jesus was put in the grave and he also came out. And Joseph came before authorities and he was magnified. He was promoted and he was in charge. He was given charge of the land of Egypt. When Jesus Christ rose from the dead, conquered death, he rose from the dead and he was given a name that is above every name. That is the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God our Father in heaven. And now we see a type of Christ. The life we live in. It must reflect Christ in us, the hope of glory. So we see that in this time of, 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 uh, of dreams, in this time when people are looking for answers, God has raised a man by the name of Joseph. To be an answer. I want to encourage someone. May God raise you to be a solution. To every situation that is arising in your life. God has raised us to preserve and to maintain flavor. Where we read in the gospel of Matthew. Jesus says you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are a city on a hill which cannot be hidden. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ says I am the light of the world. But here in Matthew chapter number 5, he says, you and me, we are the light of the world. Christ in us, the hope of glory. So what we are seeing is that Joseph is standing in the place of God. Wherever you are, may you stand in the place of God. It doesn't matter that you are in a marriage. May you preserve, may you bring flavor, may you maintain that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are a father, bring flavor to fatherhood in that family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are a mother, 
bring flavor as a mother in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As a child, bring flavor wherever you are. Maybe you're working in hospital as a nurse in the name of Jesus. The moment you walk into the world as a nurse, as a doctor, as an HCA, whatever duty you are doing in the hospital, bring flavor. Let there be life because you are in there. You are there for Jesus Christ. You bring flavor. You bring peace. You bring healing in every situation in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see you bringing flavor. I see you preserving the nations of the world. Just like Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, he rose to the occasion. Because this hunger, this famine was going to destroy the people of Egypt. Including his family. And God raised him to preserve them. May God raise you to preserve your family. May God raise you to preserve a generation of our time. May God raise you right now to preserve a business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because you are the salt. The purpose of the salt is to bring flavor in food. The purpose of the salt is to preserve to fight against corruption. May God raise a generation that is fighting corruption in the name of Jesus Christ. May God raise a generation that is fighting demons in the name of Jesus. May God raise a generation of winners. We are more than conquerors in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. One thing I like about Joseph, he was not a man full of excuses. He is a man who is an immigrant. He is a foreigner. And now the God has given him a platform to shine in the name of Jesus Christ. I see Joseph standing up before Pharaoh. May you stand up for Jesus Christ. Be in charge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be in charge of the situation. Take charge. Stand up for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. I see what's happening with Joseph. They've changed his clothes you need to understand that Joseph was sold. He was betrayed by his own brothers and he was sold to the Ishmaelites. He was put in the pit. He was in the prison. But when the need arose for a dream interpreter, he came to interpret the dream. May you stand up for Jesus Christ. Be in charge in every area of your life. Wherever God has called you, maybe a teacher, stand up for Jesus Christ. As a lawyer, stand up for Jesus Christ. As an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, a teacher, a deacon, an elder, a senior deaconess, a deaconess, a vicar, a priest, an archbishop, a bishop, an engineer. Stand up for Jesus Christ. A scientist. Stand up for Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Where there is a need, fix that need. May be in charge. Become a solution. I can see now Joseph, they have shaved his head. They have put, they have taken off prison clothes and now it is time uh, to stand up. He's standing up uh, for God because he says God is the one who gives the ability to interpret dreams. Uh, God is the one who gives answer. So now we understand that Joseph is a man of faith because even in the Peter he believed God. Even in prison he interpreted dreams. Even in the palace he is interpreting dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see God raising a generation. A generation that will stand up for Jesus Christ. A generation that will preach the gospel in spirit and truth. A generation that will preserve the nations of the world with the love of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A generation that will bring solutions. So what are we seeing here? We see Joseph now he's in the palace. Number one, God gives the ability to interpret dreams. God gives answers. Number two, may you rise up. May you preserve. May you maintain favor as flavor as the salt of the earth. Wherever you are, preserve. Preserve in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, stand out for Jesus Christ. Be in charge of the situation. If there is someone who is sick, heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. If you are a teacher, teach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are a nurse, be a nurse for Jesus Christ. If you are a doctor, treat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are an engineer, engineer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are an artist, bring your talent on the table in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand up for Jesus. Have a voice that heals. 
healed in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why Jesus said in Luke chapter number 4, the Spirit of God is upon me for he has anointed me to heal the sick. He has anointed me to heal the brokenhearted. Wherever you are, may the Spirit of God cause you to stand up for Jesus Christ. Be in charge of the situation. Be in charge of the challenges and be the solution of the challenges where you are. It doesn't matter that you are in diaspora. God can use you in diaspora because he, Joseph, is a foreigner. He is actually a slave, an ex-prisoner. He is far away from his home. He may be, his accent is thick, but see what's happening. God is promoting him. I see promotion coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why the word of God says, in Zechariah chapter number 4, verse number 5, this mountain shall be moved. And then verse number 6, God says, it's not by might nor by power, but it is by the Spirit of God. That's why the word of God says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who earnestly seek Him. But this has been revealed to us by the Spirit of God. I see the Holy Spirit raising a standard for you in the name of Jesus. I see you interpreting dreams by the power of the Holy Ghost at university as a student. Interpret the dreams there in the name of Jesus Christ. Be an encourager in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be a solution in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your career, interpret dreams. In your business, interpret dreams. In your ministry, interpret dreams. In the corridors of power, interpret dreams in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy goes stand out for Jesus Christ like a city on a hill which cannot be hidden this is the portion for believers those who believe in God those who know their God according to Daniel chapter number 11 verse 32 those who now know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits it's our time as a church to rise up to interpret dreams in the name of Jesus according to the word of God according to the utterance we are given by the Holy Ghost that Jesus Christ saves. That Jesus Christ is the answer. No other answer except Jesus. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So when we when we are interpreting dreams by the power of the Holy Ghost, that we we are able to interpret truth. In this world, there are a lot of lies because of the devil is the father of lies, and the world now is waiting for a Joseph generation who who are going to interpret dreams and they're going to come to pass. I love Joseph. He CV he interpreted dreams in the prison and the prisoner, the ex-prisoner said, you know what, this man interpreted my dream and it came to pass. It's another thing to interpret dreams, but it's another thing to interpret what comes to pass. May God raise a generation that is able to interpret dreams and those dreams come to pass. And also in addition to that, may God raise a generation that can be a solution, that can give direction to a dream. It's not only about interpreting dreams, it's also about giving direction. That's why Pharaoh says there's no other man who can be in charge of this situation except you, Joseph. It is my prayer that may God raise dream interpreters in Africa, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Australia, in Asia, in Europe, in North America, South America, the Middle East, and the islands, in the United Kingdom, in the board of Christ. May God raise genuine dream interpreters. Dream interpreters who are able to interpret dreams accurately. And those people who are able to stand on the truth of God according to the word of God and they are in charge and the dreams come to pass and there is a solution, there is a direction in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say I receive it in the name of Jesus. That's why Paul said I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. For it's not by might nor by power but it is by your spirit. What's happening in the world? Can I interpret? I see a revelation. I see a revolution. I see a revival in the nations of the world. I see the youth right up. I see mothers and fathers rising up, worshiping God in spirit and truth. I see the church rising up like never before because Jesus says in the gospel of Matthew, I will build my church 
and the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you and me. The gates of coronavirus shall not prevail against the church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your marriage, against your finances. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. If you are sick in your body, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. We are not afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Why? Because Paul says to Timothy, my son Timothy, the God we worship, Jehovah Elohim, the creator of the universe, the God who answers by fire, consuming fire, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah El Elyon, Jehovah Shalom, he has not given given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of power. Someone say power. He has given us the spirit of love. Someone say love. Agape love, unconditional love. And he has given us the spirit of stability, of a sound mind, of a sharp mind. That's we who we are as believers. Let me remind someone, we are not afraid of coronavirus. We are not afraid of the, of the gimmicks of the devil because of the spirit of God who is inside of us. God has given me, God has given you, the Holy Ghost, the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Depression is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Stress is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lack is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness and disease is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rakoko Shikata, Reduka, Rikoto Sakata, no weapon fight on against you shall prosper can you see what's happening here that that family it was also tailor made for joseph as a prisoner to die but let me tell you something the devil has made a mistake this time the church is rising up because the lord jesus christ says i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church in the name of jesus Number four, shine for Jesus Christ. I see Joseph is in the palace. He's shining not because of himself, because what he said to the king is, King Pharaoh, you need to understand that God is the one who gives ability to interpret dreams. God gives answers because the chanders, oh, the the, the witch, the, the witch doctors, and all the magicians, they failed to interpret the dream of. Pharaoh, and yes, someone who is the who has got the spirit of God, and he is interpreting dreams not for himself but for the glory of God. I want you, I see you shining for Jesus Christ in your family, I see you shining for Jesus Christ at your workplace. I see, I see you shining for Jesus Christ as an employer, I see you shining for Jesus Christ at university, I see you shining for Jesus Christ in your marriage, I see you shining for Jesus Christ. Christ in, in evangelism. I see you shining for Jesus Christ in the preaching of the gospel. I see you shining for Jesus Christ in generosity, in giving, in tithing. I see you shining for Jesus like never before in your preaching of the word, in winning souls, in making disciples, and changing communities. That's who you are. Shine for Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And then he says, you are the light of the world. Let your your light so shine so that our heavenly father is glorified through you may god be glorified through your good works in the name of jesus i say may god be glorified through you through your good works may god be glorified through you because of your good works. May God be glorified through your good works. In the world, in the hospital, may God be glorified through your good works. As a nurse, as a doctor, as an HCA, as a pastor, may God be glorified through your good works. In your giving, looking after orphans and widows. In your preaching of the gospel, may God be glorified through your good works as you shine for Jesus. God is glorified before Pharaoh because of Joseph, a man of integrity, a man full of faith, a man who is prayerful, a man who believes God, a man who trusts God. Those who trust God, 
those who, are tra- who put their trust in God are like Mount Zion, which can never be shaken. In the name of Jesus, I love Joseph. He was not shaken because his coat of many colors was taken away from him. He was not shaken because he was put in prison. He was falsely accused. He was not shaken. In the prison, he was not shaken. Before Pharaoh, he did not change his testimony. There are some people who change their testimonies before Pharaoh. But here you are. I, I love Joseph. Joseph. Joseph begins to address God. And he says to Pharaoh, it is God who gives answers. Why is he doing that? Because he wants the name of Jehovah God to be glorified. May the name of God be glorified through you in the name of Jesus. Because of your good works. Through your good works in the name of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, the world out there is waiting for dream interpreters who are going to interpret the dream and become a solution. Give direction. And exactly what... Joseph interpreted about uh, uh, seven years of plenty uh, and seven years of famine. It came to pass uh, and he managed to save uh, Egypt uh, and he also managed to save and to forgive uh, his own family. Whatever you do, may the name of the Lord be glorified. In your family, learn to be a forgiver. Learn to be a unifier. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands where you are. I see a unifier right now. I see a peacemaker in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a world changer in the mighty name of Jesus. I see a healer in you in the mighty name of Jesus. I see a prime minister in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are a chosen generation. You are a peculiar person. Shine for Jesus Christ on social media, on YouTube. I'm telling you something. I'm shining for Jesus on Facebook. Shine for Jesus Christ on Instagram. Shine for Jesus Christ on Twitter, tweet for Jesus Christ on the social media platforms on WhatsApp, shine for Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. May God be glorified through your good works on social media wherever you are. May you shine for Jesus Christ. As I close, I want to encourage you. Number one, God is the one who gives the ability to interpret dreams. God is the one who gives answers. Number two, May God raise, raise you up. May he promote you to preserve and to maintain flavor in this dying world. Number three, stand up for Jesus Christ. Be in charge of the situation. Roll your sleeves like Joseph and take charge of the situation. Number four, shine for Jesus Christ. Shine for Jesus Christ through your good works, through interpreting of dreams and giving direction and solution. Number five, May God be glorified through your good works. Before I close this broadcast, I want you also to be part- a partaker of these five good ingredients which we have learned today. I want you to preserve. Uh, I want you to stand out for Jesus. I want you to shine for Jesus. I want God to be glorified through your good works in the mighty name of Jesus. And the only way you can do that, if you see, if is if you surrender your life to Jesus Christ and say, I surrender. If you are there, you are not born again or you are backslidden, I want to encourage you right now to make a confession of faith. If you are there, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord and Savior of my life. I believe with my heart That God raised you from the dead. From today, I'm born again. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit, I thank you. Guide me. Teach me. Stand by me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, I reject you. I belong to Jesus. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. From now on, get yourself connected. You've got to people who love the Lord and the friends who didn't know Jesus Christ. Testify. Win them for Christ. Wherever you are, shine for Jesus. Wherever you are, stand out for Jesus. Be in charge. Wherever you are, may God be glorified through your 
good works in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are sick in your body, touch wherever you are not feeling well, or if you are believing God for someone, raise up your hand and mention their name as I am praying and believing God together with you as we shine for Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the healing power that is present right now. I say to you, be healed right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet in the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. The precious blood of King Jesus Christ makes you whole. The precious blood of King Jesus Christ sets you free. You are healed. You are delivered. You are made whole in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. The dream is interpreted. Go out there, wherever you are, interpret dreams, be a solution, give direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's close in prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in the mighty name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of King Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Shine for Jesus like Joseph.